Okay, this will be a little shaky because I'm freezing. And we're going to march soon. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! I am so sad to be here today, you guys, because being here today means that in over 100 days, the genocide of Palestinians in Gaza, not one government, one human rights group, the UN, the courts of justice, not one global entity of which their job is to protect citizens and humanity have been able to stop Israel in its unlawful, brutal siege of Gaza. Shame! <laughs> Over 100 days of horrific bomb blasts, displacement and homelessness, catastrophic injuries, starvation, lack of basic medical supplies, destruction of critical infrastructure and homes. Shame on them! Shame! And the ones who suffer the very most will always be the children. Estimates are now at 13,000 killed children. Shame! 160 children a day! 25,000 orphans! Shame! Eight out of ten Gazans are now homeless, living in plastic tents. Shame! Ten children a day will receive an amputation of one or both legs. All are facing Israeli-caused starvation due to the lack of aid being allowed to enter the Rafah border. Twenty to seventy percent of children have PTSD. You've all seen the social media posts of children shaking uncontrollably, eyes wide from bomb shock, and unable to speak. Any world that can allow this to happen is a world missing all of its humanity. As I say these incredible barbaric statistics, I am struck by the fact that every action Israel has taken is in fact illegal. Shame! As an occupying force over Gaza and the West Bank, they bear the responsibility of protection of the civ civilians under the military occupation. How the world has failed Palestinians for 100 days and all these 75 years, I will never be able to comprehend. I am going to read some headlines from Palestine and I want you to imagine that these are being reported and happening to Canadian children. Israeli forces kill two bo boys with a drone missile. Two boys shot and killed in West Bank. Israeli forces shoot and kill a four-year-old girl in the back seat of a car. Child detained without charges, attacked by a military dog. Shame! Ten-year-old boy shot and killed near Nablus. Child released from prison spent 30 days in solitary confinement. Shame! Israeli tank shell kills 14-year-old girl in hospital recovering from an amputation. As I read these out, it is very difficult to understand how my Canadian government and Justin Trudeau can continue to stand with Israel as it commits war crimes and genocide. Shame, shame, shame. We demand as Canadians an immediate ceasefire now.
We demand an investigation into Israel's war crimes and all Canadian politicians who have aided and abetted in this genocide of the Palestinian people. A ceasefire yesterday could have saved 160 children, but they are gone forever and every day this crime continues, we lose more children and we lose all of our humanity.